What's up guys, Jerry here with East Tennessee DIY and today we are going to do video one of how to make a rope bag. Uh, this video is going to have a little description of the bag, uh, the materials we need to make it, sizes of the materials, uh, things like that. In the description below I'll have links to everything that I'm using. You can use whatever you want as far as material goes. This is what I like and it's what I have. So that's what we're going to do. You can see this bag is a vertical bag so it hangs on your saddle like so. Most bags you're seeing these days are horizontal um, and you can use this one horizontal. We'll just put two pieces of uh, looping there so you can collect it or connect it to your uh, saddle or bag or whatever. I like the horizontal because it takes up less real estate. It's just as easy to use. Um, this bag is one size fits all so you can, well, fits most. Um, with this bag you can fit up to uh, 60 feet of nine mil um, because I'm using the pocket in there and the pocket is a wide mouth pocket so you can see you can open this up and even with that 35 feet of nine mil you can you have plenty more room so uh, that is why this one's kind of one size fits most um, we also have a pocket on the side for your belay device this is my son's bag now He's using a safeguard carabiner and your Delta or your uh, your oval link holds everything in there. Um, what I also like about this bag is there's no zippers. There's no uh, nothing that encloses these. It's all held in there just by by gravity. Um, you have some Molly loops over here to hook up extra carabiners or whatever else you might. You can add pockets and all that other stuff to it as you go. Um, and then we also have a hood on this bag to kind of keep keep your rope dry a little bit longer it's not a waterproof bag you can make it that way if you wanted to um, but yeah so that's what it is easy to operate on this next version I'm actually using shock cord and buttons instead of the g-hooks the g-hooks are kind of difficult to work with when your hands are cold um, with the shock cord and the buttons with uh, quarter inch webbing uh, you'll be able to loop it around there real quick it's also kind of self-tightening because you want to put a pretty short little loop. So as your bag expands, your shock tube will expand. It'll make it a little easier. Um, the bag itself or the pocket itself for the rope is enclosed with some shock tube and a little shock tube button so you can tighten it up. But when you need the rope, it's pretty easy to get it out. You just pocket a little shock tube, pull your rope out, drop it, ready to roll. Real simple to use. It's real simple to use. Um, so yeah, we're going to talk about the material, we're going to talk about sizes, templates, things like that. Um, we'll get on to that next. Thanks. Alright guys, going to talk about material real quick. Uh, what I'm using is this 500D Cordura uh, Strata. Um, it's the one that has the rubber coating on the inside. It's what I have, so that's what I'm using. It really doesn't matter. You can use whatever you feel like you want to use, obviously. Uh, that is the outside cover of the bag, and that is 12 inches by 16 inches. This is the inside of the bag. Uh, again, 12 by 16. This is just some military backpack material that I picked up from somebody on uh, Saddle Hunter way back when. I still have some left, so I'm using that as the inside of the bag. Again, 12 inches by 16 inches for a final bag side of 11 by 15. This is your inside pocket that goes on either side, whatever you prefer. Uh, this is six inches or five and a half inches wide, six inches long on one side, nine inches long on the other side with an angle. That makes it easier to get stuff in the bag when, you're, uh, when your hands are cold or you're wearing gloves. This is the main pocket. This one is uh, 11 inches high. At the bottom, we are at, what did I say? I think that was uh, nine inches. And at the top, we're at 11 inches. I make it that shape because I want the top to be wider than the bottom, so it makes it easier to get the rope into and out of. We'll have a drawstring or a, or a piece of shock tube up here with a button so you can tighten it down on your rope. Um, but it's a good size when I'm finding for everything up to uh, 60 feet of 9 millimeter. Um, you can see once you get it on the bag, it's uh, this top 
opens up quite a bit more than what the bottom does. And that's what the side pocket looks like. Uh, this here is a six and a half inch circle cut in half. This is actually, I just used a paint can, drew around it, cut it out. Um, and this is a 12 by four piece of the same material, the Cordura, as that is, um, split in half. So this is the bottom of the bag and that becomes the bottom of the pocket. And this becomes the hood top. And this is for the lip around the hood. And I'll show you how all that gets together here in the next video. But that is basically the material you're gonna need. Um, the sizes anyways, you can use whatever material you want, but those are the sizes of what I'm using. And then for closing the bag and making my molly loops and all that other stuff, I've got some general uh, one inch webbing. Uh, I've got some, I think that's one eighth uh, shot cord. This is binding, just kind of clean everything up or shot or gross grain to put around the edge of the bag. And this is quarter inch webbing. I'm gonna use that to secure the buttons to the bag that the, uh, that the uh, shot cord's gonna wrap around to close it. I'm also going to use a little bit on the top of this pocket to make it a little more rigid. So we're going to, we're going to sew that in kind of like that, roll it over and sew it back. Kind of gives you a little more rigidity in the top of that pocket. So there you go. And I am going to put a picture in pretty soon that's going to show these sizes so that you can print it out and reference it if you decide to make one of these. All right, next video is going to be video number two, where we're going to get all these prepped, clean up all our edges, get our base sewn, get our rigidity in the top of this, get our pocket made, um, and get our hood made. And in video three, we'll be putting everything together to get the bag together. All right, thanks.